Let's start with some terrible news for the Ravens here on Sunday as J.K. Dobbins has reportedly suffered a season-ending torn ACL injury. What's the fantasy impact on this team, Jeff? I mean, for, for Baltimore just as a team and like for the rest of the fantasy pieces on Baltimore, I, I really don't think the impact is it's like nothing. I mean, they have a pretty good depth at running back already in Justice Hill and Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, a guy we've seen just slide right in there with Lamar Jackson and everything is simple. I mean, the Baltimore Ravens offense, when it comes down to it, is simple. This isn't a, a team that's going to be slinging it downfield 60 times a game. And if they are, they're having a really bad day because this is a team that ultimately wants to pound the ball. They've got another, you know, inside the tackles guy and Gus Edwards coming right back behind J.K. Dobbins and Justice Hill can certainly slot in a little bit as well. Ultimately, this offense is all about Lamar Jackson being able to just, you know, move the sticks with his feet and just take the, the offense off guard. None of that is going to change with Gus Edwards. Is it going to have an impact from fantasy? Sure. Gus Edwards bump him up a little bit, but all things considered, nothing is really going to change for Baltimore. AJ, Gus Edwards here more than capable of taking over the starting duties and performing while in fantasy. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. I, I totally agree with Jeff here. Look, Lamar Jackson's going to get his rushing opportunities, his touches, regardless of who's you know behind him in the backfield there. So I, I'm totally on board with Jeff. I, I don't think this changes anything here. And yes, you know Gus Edwards, 723 yards last year, six touchdowns. I would expect a lot more out of him this year. Um, so from the, from that standpoint, a huge bump for him. And really, the other guy that I kind of like here is is Tyson Williams. I think could see more passing opportunities, a few more targets, third down opportunities, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, ultimately it, it's the Lamar Jackson show, Gus Edwards, the clear beneficiary for, for the added touches. AJ, the narrative around Jackson though, that he needs to take like a significant step forward as a passer. Do you feel that's overblown? I do, I, I totally do. I, I think you get, uh, you move the sticks however you move the sticks. Now, obviously, you know, if there's a lot of hits, you, it leads to injuries, and that's always the, the storyline, right, with why a guy can't can't run the ball. So I think, you know, maybe he needs to play a little safer, slide once in a while here. Um, but overall, I, I think they need to generate offense the way that they, they can best do that, and that's with him running the football. Yeah, Jeff, and he's done it with some pretty middling receiving help over the past couple of years. Yeah, I mean, look, Lamar Jackson from a fantasy perspective really doesn't, you know, we don't really care if he passes the ball more because, you know, again, if, if the one thing that the Dobbins injury might do, it might even lead to like a little bit more Lamar Jackson running. Not that he wasn't going to run a ton with Dobbins, but Dobbins was, a, you know, a little bit younger player, maybe a little bit more explosive. So you could say this is the, the injury might actually be good for Lamar Jackson because he's just going to, if anything, psychologically, he might even say, oh, I got to do more. But from a, from a performance perspective for the Ravens, I, I actually am of the opinion that, you know, until Lamar Jackson develops a little bit more of a pocket presence and, and just becomes a little bit better downfield passer, I, I don't really think that you're going to see this team take the next step. I, you don't really have to go back too far in history. I mean, we just don't see these rushing quarterbacks win championships. I mean, Colin Kaepernick is like the one guy who was able to get his team on a nice run there in San Francisco. They obviously didn't close the door, but... Um, you know, could, could Lamar Jackson do that with the Ravens? Well, if it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen the next couple of years because rushing quarterbacks, another thing we know with a guy like Cam Newton, they don't have a long shelf life. So I'm of the opinion that, you know, until the Ravens develop this, this pot passing offense a little bit, they're probably going to be stuck in mud just in terms of where they go in the playoffs.